Hey friends, Chris Crone here. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of comments from people wondering, you know, is this my car? Is this my house? And so I thought that today I'd actually like take you and walk you through the house that I designed. In fact, this house right here, I designed this house 12 years ago and I'm just going to give you a little bit of tour and kind of show you that it is my house. All right, so first of all, I did not rent this car. I don't know what it would cost to rent for the day, but uh, I will tell you I was on a two-year waiting list for this. So this is the BMW i8. It's, uh, it's all electric, but it also has an optional turbo engine in the back. And this is the first car I've ever had where I actually like the rear end a whole lot more than the front. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's sexy. Uh, anyway, uh, so I designed this house, my wife and I, when we built this. So remember, from the very first house that I bought, two years later we moved into another house, and two years later we moved into this. So three years in, we actually started building this. And uh, this house, I got with a contractor that was super, super successful at buying high-end homes with a lot of equity into them. And I basically said, hey, I wanna have a hands-on experience. My dad was a master craftsman, he was a general contractor. Can I use your general contractor license, but basically be the general and make all the decisions for a reduced fee? Because I was also trying to work in some equity he said sure and basically he gave me all of his high-end contacts and I got to pick all of the subs I hired a draftsman designed every square foot now this isn't the way I would do it you know these days but you know I would actually hire the most high-end expensive architect because they design the most brilliant stuff but when we bought this I mean this was just a hillside it's super steep in the back and you know if you've been subscribing you've known that most of my videos are shot here I've been shooting videos here for like five years from one time I started YouTube but it was just kind of cool like from designing like for example I made a big mistake when I designed this so this bay right here if it was two feet by two feet by two feet by two feet it would cost me ten thousand dollars less I had to actually pay for big manufactured steel beams to hold this up and it's because there was something cool that I put up in the ceiling in hindsight it's like I could have ten thousand more dollars in my pocket or a smaller mortgage but we just went all out on something so here in my office if you take a look up here so I wanted to put in this rope lighting and I just, and I love the idea. I put a lot of timbers in my home. So I wanted this timber and um, stupid young me's like, and then I'll sit at the desk and then underneath I'll have my like red button. Cause if there's someone I don't like, I'll hit the red button and it will like come down on them and it'll be like maniacal laugh and inspector gadget. Never mind. But anyway, here in this room, this is where I keep kind of my kind of funky things that I collect from around the world. It's, it's a little bit eclectic certainly a little bit different these are some animals i i'm a relatively new hunter dude i basically get my hands on anything that is different novel or unique and so like when i was in peru we got to see ancient incans and this is a this is a replica of an ancient incan weapon i would hate to be hit on the head with that i collect a lot of weapons i don't know why i think it's just like my inner warrior this is a really 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 nice piece of obsidian that was master crafted by a really talented dude. I don't know exactly what this is, but this is from some jungle um, deep in the Amazon. And these three heads represent the deity. So the condor, the jaguar, and the snake uh, are like the most reverenced animals there. When I was in Kenya, um, I went into this huge humanitarian project and they actually put my name into, I forget what they call this thing again, but basically the chiefs, all carry one of these so they handmade me one as a as a token of gratitude for bringing a whole team of people and we we did a clean water project and we helped build an orphanage and help support the local schools and dude this is this is cool check out this this is a blowgun actually i also picked up deep from the amazon that's kind of funky um anyway my office is kind of like my man cave this is when i when people are in town and i meet with people this is where i do it actually have this drum shipped from South Africa on one of my most recent hunts when I came back. But uh, no, so like in designing this house, you know, now that was 11 years ago. I was a kid when I designed this house. Like I'm 38 years old now. But when I designed it, you know, like for example, I would do four and five foot wide hallways. This is the minimum hallway and I just didn't even know. 
Um, so this is my family. So this is my incredible wife, Colin. And basically it goes girl, boy, girl, boy. So Liesel is uh, 12 years old and just starting junior high. This is my son, Kaiser, and uh, he's handsome. He's amazing. He's, he's in fifth grade. Olivia's going into fourth. Danny is going into second. I don't think I'm getting that right, but my kids are incredible. I love them. We got a we got a guest room down here. So often when my YouTube guests come in town, if I can, I'll actually put them up and I'll actually have them stay with me. So they got their own bathroom and and uh, super comfortable. There's something magic about this room. Everyone that sleeps on this mattress says that they get the best like sleep of their life. You know, I'm German, and so coming, you know, my father, you know, I lived in Germany for two years. My father is off the boat German. So I love this old world kind of timeless feel. It's kind of ironic in making this video though, because we're actually in the process of a move. We're actually buying a new house after living here for 11 years. It's closer in the mountains. I am a crazy, crazy Monopoly fan. And uh, so I'll sit here with my kids and I'll teach them about real estate by playing Monopoly. Because a stupid little game like that, you're like, could you really learn about real estate from a game like Monopoly? Yeah, actually, Monopoly, my wife, uh, you know, she comments on it all the time because I've taught her how to play. She says, well, Monopoly, you can be offense or you can be defense. And I'm always offense. And I win 80% of the time. A couple years ago, we did this photo shoot and we had our friends bring out their horse and we did this at a nearby park. It was just kind of fun. Um, <laughs> My, my wife was on the horse and there was no saddle. And uh, as we were walking along, literally almost fell off the horse because it just started getting away on us. It's kind of funny. But uh, this is King Henry. King Henry, this is the first elk I ever took down. He's, uh, he measured at Zout at 462 and a quarter for those of you hunters that know what I'm talking about. And for those of you that think that hunting is evil and horrible, we ate all of the meat. This is a custom uh, picture that my wife and I had painted when we came into the house. This is a little bit, this is a little personal. My wife and I were Christian, and we said, you know, in our great room, which will be our gathering room, let's not have a TV. Let's let's let it be about people. And so, in this particular room, we said, you know, let's put a focal point that reminds us of who we are. And so, actually, the painter that that did this, John McNaughton, he took childhood pictures of me and my wife and actually painted us into the picture. So this is actually a custom commission piece and uh, just something we wanted to do to help the home feel kind of more custom. As you can see, we're a total disaster in here. Whatever trade that you're in, you're gonna get its benefits. So like for example, if I sold cars for a living, then when it's time for me to buy a car, my guess is I would get a screaming deal on one. But if you're a real estate investor, guess what benefit you get? You get to live for free and buying real estate to live for free. I don't know of a trade that has a better benefit than real estate. So I'm super glad that even though I was really young and dumb when I was inspired and I caught the bug, I was in college, found out I was too dumb to be a doctor. Um, dude, I just ate it up. This is our kitchen. We call our island the continent because we probably went a little bit too, it's like 13, 14 feet across. Um, but it's designed to be a bar for the kids. So when we have our casual meals, we eat here. And then right over here at this table is where we'll have family dinner. And then we also have a formal dining that we'll eat in when we're doing, you know, you know, fancy meals or something special. So the new house that we're moving into is the total opposite. Whereas everything in here is like dark and old world and timeless and Venetian. Like these walls have Venetian plaster on them. They're leathery. It's a, quite a process to get them put up. But the new house is all modern. Like everything is clean, white, big windows. It's like a total different house. So we're going to be listing this one. I don't know if we're going to Airbnb it. The market's doing really well right now. Might just sell it. A couple things though that I wanted to show you that are kind of fun for me. When I designed the house, I got to put my hand on the steering wheel, like I said. And one of the things that I got to do was help design uh, my kid's playroom. And we decided to do it with, dude, I do not want to take that down when it comes to moving time. It took four people, three ladders. <sighs> that thing was such a freaking beast. I think I'm just going to leave it. It's just too wild. Oh, this is kind of fun. My wife made this. This is a, this is a magnet board. She spray painted bronze and framed. And uh, this makes it a lot easier than framing everything. So these are, this is like when I took my kids to Africa and we were with the Maasai warriors. I'm trying to see if I can out jump 
this Maasai warrior, uh, because whoever jumps higher is going to be given a wife. Uh, my wife told me to sabotage and not jump that high. Um, Arches National Park, Washington, D.C., LDS Temple. Uh, this was doing, what do they call that really cool underground cavern? It's like world famous awesome. This was number one in the world record in outside of Botswana, Nyala, 26 inch horns. Crazy, crazy, wild, huge. Uh, Santa Claus came town, and this is my kids with Santa. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, this is Bora Bora. This is actually Morea. Seriously, one of the most beautiful places. Machu Picchu with my daughter and taking my kids um, snuba. My daughter loves cheetahs, so when we actually went to Kenya, we got a chance to do a really cool safari. It's Lisa, she's in love with animals. Never liked dolls, never liked dolls. I love my family, they're so amazing. We're celebrating that the last one learned how to ride a bike here in this picture. Took them all to Mexico with my parents. Um, and this is a dolphin outside of the water, jumping around. Um, and this is me with baby tigers. So I, oh, we do some crazy stuff, right? Um, but we have a lot of fun because, you know, for me, financial freedom, it's like right now what I value more than being successful or being an achiever is enjoying life. And not just like play, 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 but it's like, who are you? What do you stand for? What's your mission? What's your purpose? My kids, my youngest seven, my oldest 12, this is like prime dad time. This is like when I get to teach my children how to be good human beings. This is where I get to teach them how to be who they are. Now we came up here. Hello? Okay. No one home. Come on in. My injured cat is in here, so we gotta keep the door closed. Fritz, he got in a he got in a fight. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Are you doing okay? How's that leg doing? Uh, this is called the jungle room. It's now my daughter's room, uh, the animal lover, but uh, when we when we first designed it, I hired these painters to come in and they painted like these ancient ruins, and then I took ropes and made these vines. I had a renter at the time that worked in log cabin furniture, so I said, hey, don't pay rent this month, but come set up all of these real life trees in the room. And so we put like a, a green frise carpet down, and uh, I got to do all of this work, and uh, just got to transform this. This is kind of a fun part. We actually built this step up ladder, and then this was a closet. There were supposed to be two closets side by side, and we just converted this one. Into a, into a slide. So crazy good memories, just rolling around, playing with the kids in this room. Okay, now Fritz, you cannot go, okay? You gotta stay, stay in the room. We wanted to name our cat something we would never ever name a real human being. So we'll skip that one. That's my master wing. My wife will say if I show it to you totally all, she'll get upset if she goes onto YouTube and watches the videos like, how did you show them our house? Oh, let's just do it anyway. Like I said, we're moving, so everything's like a total crazy mess. But um, when it's organized, this room, this is like my sanctuary. This is my, I do a lot of work from my bed. This is where my wife and I will often watch movies and cuddle and snuggle. This is my wife's office. Uh, we just had this one put in. This is some macrame work that she actually just did. She loves stones, so she put some all natural stones in there. And this is a piece that I'm working on right now. This is a, this is a big, huge Texas beast and I'm decorating it with uh, all sorts of rhinestones, gemstones, turquoise, and cat's eye. And uh, I've lined black, I think they call it tumble line or something like that around the edges here. And uh, so this is often a place of like creative outlet that we go to. And uh, in here we keep actually our books from all of our trips from around the world. My wife is a masterful videographer. She'll take pictures of everything. She manages to keep her cell phone filled with like 20,000 images even if we dump it the next month. So it's pretty wild. Got the master bath, master closet. Everything is just being ripped aside and ready. So it's interesting, all the people are like, that's not even your house. I'm like, in two or three weeks you're probably right, it's not. But I did live here for nearly 12 years. Dude, it's so wild. This house is like, it's just, it's the byproduct of, of real estate. Bought those 25 homes, moved into this home, had a six-figure residual income, 
And when I quit my job that year, I doubled my income to 50 homes, the next year to 100 homes, the next year to hundreds of homes. And, you know, one of the things I want to tell you is that when you figure out something that works and it's profitable, you'll do what anyone else would do. You do it over and over and over again, which is really what this channel is not about. It's not about showing you my house and stuff, but it's just about letting you know this all exists because I, I found something that, that really worked. And uh, I'm still doing it today, 15 years later, which if you think about it, it's pretty wild. It's, uh, it's kind of a testament unto its own self. So um, sometimes I do get, you know, this video is really just being playful because I do have the skeptics out there that will, they'll watch me on YouTube and, and you know, they'll, they'll be skeptical about, you know, that, that it's probably not even his car, it's probably not even his house. But I'm like, you know, I need that world to exist. I need the skeptics to be there. It's why all of these good deals exist because people don't believe that they do. Uh, I'll just show you the downstairs real quick. Just hitting kind of a couple areas of the home. You see me film down here quite a bit. Uh, down here I've got a game room, a second kitchen, little poochie, the wild, excitable dog. You're supposed to stay down. You stay down. This is where I play billiards and do some ping pong. What's up, Mom? How you doing? I didn't know you were doing this. That's okay, Mom. My parents, my parents live in my basement. We are. Don't worry about it. What do you? It smells amazing. What are you making? Yeah. Are you excited for the new house? I can't wait. Are you? Are you? But are you going to miss this house? No. I mean, I love it. I love. I spent eight years here. This, this, all this wild red. This is my mom's style. You can take your red polka dot rug with you, mommy. Absolutely. Uh, downstairs. When I don't go to the gym, this is what gives me my uh, at-home workout. And all of this has definitely got to come because this is where I will push that weight around, get that blood pumping, get those lungs expanding. It's a must for me. It's kind of a part of how, I, how do I do life and start my day. And then uh, this is a fun room. This is my theater room. You, you'll recognize it from some of the videos. Sometimes we shoot them in here. Oh, the tree fell down. There you go. Anyway, it's, um, it's been a wonderful house. It's really wild when I think about being 27 years old and moving into this house. I mean, it is such a wild thing for me because I look at the fact that if you've seen my videos where I show you my very first house, I could have bought a nicer house. I barely got that one. My next one I could have bought, I, I, I could have lived in a much nicer house way sooner, but four years later when I custom built this, it was because I kept using my real estate system over and over and over again. And today, I'm back to the basics doing the same things. I'll buy 100 homes this year just with partners, with people from YouTube actually that watch these channels and are like, Chris, help me build wealth. Or Chris, you've got to be cherry picking sometimes some of the very best deals out there. Can I do those deals with you? The answer is it depends. And yes, I do that with a lot of people. You know, real estate, it's given me a, a financial backbone to be able to do so many incredible, amazing things in life. So... As I shoot this video, please don't take any of this as a showing off or, ooh, look at me. You know, the reality is, if anything, my personal hope is that you'll say, wow, if real estate really can do all that and create all that, from, I'm talking about from the real estate wealth, just from doing real estate, then maybe it's something worth looking into because a lot of people say, well, real estate doesn't zing me, Chris. I'm like, you know what? You know what really zinged me? It wasn't real estate. It was freedom. It was the fact that I didn't want to be at a dead-end job doing something that I didn't like doing. And then some of us get lost in a passion play. And the reality is, is that not all passion will lead to wealth. And real estate is one of those things that if you're smart, you put it in the background and you set it and you forget it. And over a 10 year period of time, 20 year period of time, dude, anyone can become a millionaire. If you have the right strategy and you have the right system and you let it go in the background, you know, real estate can take care of you too. It's really taken well for me because I, I made it my full-time career and I actually, I, I turn it into this thing that's done so much more for me. But yeah, if you watch these videos or you're like, ooh, Chris is driving a nice new car or traveling somewhere in the world, don't forget, all I did, I, I didn't have extra brains, I didn't have extra talents, I didn't have special abilities. I, I Serious. I mean, seriously, if I could go back 10, 12 years ago, if I had video and I could transport you back to me then, you would laugh your face off. You really would. Because you'd say, dude, Chris is really just a normal, ordinary, maybe slightly less than ordinary guy. And dude, if he can do it, I can do it too. I hope that's what these videos do for you. I hope they show you that all of us really are 
inside extraordinary human beings. We just need to figure out how to live it. And money touches everything. So figure out the money component. Real estate can be a tremendous way of doing that. And just let it open up doors for you so that you can express more of who you are. Today, I don't need this house to be, ha to be, to be happy, but it is a really cool perk and lifestyle piece that allows me to, to experience a lot of great fulfillment and happiness in my life. So uh, listen, go out there, crush it in real estate, make it happen. And uh, if you don't have the tools or the know-how, you need to subscribe to this channel because I'll give them to you. If you want to move faster than that though, if you want to be more aggressive like I am in nature, then head on over to my website and read some information and talk to my team. Uh, my team will show you how you can actually mentor directly with me and I can show you how to create all of this for you.